Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county to keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Mike. The place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. He'll be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out, me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Is called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be... You, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo saw hot for. You think he cares how many die? 
on either side. Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. The place is locked up tight. Come on. I've gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. There's always a sore spot between me and my lizard. Okay. All right, this is it. And we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey. I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the ship? Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you.
Jesus, what a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the Rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit. No, Deke. I always saw a bit of myself in you, back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers, because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. He's standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his Rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, My truce will hold. You can bet on that. How's it going, brother? Oh, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh. <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh. just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Stash them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Deacon, there. Yeah. I got out of the infirmary today. Didn't see she ever enough of my mind in the last of her lifetime. Sounds like Addy. How's the arm? You know, about 50% there. Sorry, I need to. Seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand. I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, that's what Annie said. Oh, 
I want to flex it and... Open the wait, gate. Wait. I, I said, I gotta get going. Yeah, I know him. This is got me on farm duty. I'm gonna see if I can uh, pay off these damn pain meds that Maddie has me on. Later. Later. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. No soon enough, thinking out. Done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are going to be best friends before you know it. Right. Deke, you tracked down those boys, shot up the gate, you took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them and they won't be. It's getting worse. A lot of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to the rest of the Yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. 
guess if I had a choice. Yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. Open it up. Deke, how have you been? Damon. St. John, I got a bounty job for you. I'm listening. You're looking for Ned Walker. Wears a red scarf. He and his crew came to the gate the other night. We wouldn't let him in. Killed one of my guards, then took off. Hmm. You have someone to follow him? He's holed up at a marauder camp just north of O'Leary Mountain. I think you know where that is. No, but I'll find him. Deacon, hey. Hey, Damon. How's life? Yo, Deke, good to see you. Can you use this? Cope, uh, the man he killed, who was it? The young kid. Everyone called him Gopher. Never knew his real name. How old was he? Like I said, a kid. 19, 20? 
Had no idea how he lasted this long. But he was a good kid. Why are you asking? No reason. If you spent more time at the camp, got to know folks, maybe you'd find a reason. Cope out.
done. You won't be hearing from that walker again. Bring me his bandana. I want to see it for myself. Cope out. Yeah, of course you do. How have you been? Nice work. Lost more than a few men trying to hunt down that son of a bitch. Next time, just come to me. You volunteering? Never thought I'd see the day. My bike. Go see Manny. If you got enough camp credits, he'll fix you right up. Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. Yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Deke. I appreciate it. I thought I saw someone out there. Oh, 
bounties. John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run. He stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them. Oh, shit, there he is. Damn it, Vince, man, come on. I don't know, you're not gonna get away. No, this is a Going, Lynch man. What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah, there's a bunch of dead freaks. The rest of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else, I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do, here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo, he can't come with you, he's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike, I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than Schizo's. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did. But never anything more than that, and you know it. So, now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. 
You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can rut. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I hit me in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. I work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You never thank me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? The Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I, Jesus? You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here.
no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Hmm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here and touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, well, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I could clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. J j see if it's vibrating at all. Ha! <laughs> you feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. 
the entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. These are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. I had never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Okay. Okay, got it. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room is right around here. Oh God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Here. Burn it down. Here I come. Ready. <laughs> you 
good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. Maybe you can ask me later. Uh, no, hey. Hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has Bring a treaty. Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. Can I try that again? PlayStation.